Tonight on a special edition of SUTV. We'll take a look at how the Cumberland Valley Railroad was involved with World War I and the impact that racial segregation had on it. All that and more right now. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of SUTV. I'm Josh Charles. And I'm Deanna Webster. The Cumberland Valley Railroad wasn't always owned by the government. It was once a privately owned railroad. Joe Lutz has the story. The Cumberland Valley Railroad was established in 1837. The privately owned railroad was originally used for passenger and freight services. Ownership of the railroad changed in the early 1900s. So the Cumberland Valley Railroad was a private entity, but on January 1st, 1918, the United States Railroad Administration took over, um, replaced presidents of the railroad, and took over operations of the railroad. The takeover by the government was due to the United States' involvement in World War I. Trench warfare required a steady flow of supplies to be shipped off to the war effort. A unified railroad system meant that supplies could reach the East Coast for quicker shipping. Instead of having smaller, you know, local entities that are all kind of disconnected, you have one connected um, nation railroad. So the Cumberland Valley Railroad falls under the Allegheny Division of this larger railroad network, which becomes like a really important link to the, the eastern seaports of you know, the Atlantic coast, it's, it has a large connection to Philadelphia and New York City where um, all the, the doughboys are leaving for overseas and all the supplies is be, being transported on ships. While the Cumberland Valley Railroad's acquisition by the government did take away local jobs, it served as a vital role in supporting the troops. For SUTV News, I'm Joe Lutz. The railroad would change ownership numerous times over the next couple of decades. It would never become a privately owned railroad again. Last semester, a bridge was added over Fogel Sonder Road to connect the Cumberland Valley Trail. Joe Lutz took a look back at the addition. Now that the bridge is up, Shippensburg now connects to the Cumberland Valley Rails to Trails pathway. The staff of the 11-mile trail hope it will bring the student community and town residents together. I think as a way to um, bring together the town and the university in a way that it hasn't always been in the past. It's no secret that there, have all, uh, there are oftentimes tensions between towns and universities, um, and Shippensburg is no, uh, is no exception to that rule. The bridge's installation opens up the options for the university's cross-country team to practice. But now we have a wider variety of places we can meet for practice. We can meet maybe over at Eccles Field, uh, over on Earl Street, closer to where a lot of the team lives. Uh, since the trans ex uh, trail's expanding down to there. The Rails to Trails Council is looking to bridge the community together, one bridge at a time. Joe Lutz, SUTV News. It took over five years of negotiations with the Shippensburg Township before the bridge was finally installed. Shippensburg locals and students have both used the bridge frequently since the bridge has been installed earlier this year. The Shippensburg University Rail Trail project is one that has caught a, a lot of attention from local students and residents of Shippensburg. A bathroom station was built on the rail trail as a convenience to those interested in traveling on, along the trail. The event that occurred recently here was the ribbon cutting event for the Shippensburg Township Comfort Station. There were a few comments made by the various speakers about the boxcar, but the main focus was the comfort station a place that was built for the convenience of those who want to enjoy the rail trail. There are bathrooms located here, as well as a little bit more information about the rail trail itself. The Comfort Station is located next to Earl Street across from the Wheelhouse Diner. The rail trail has a long, interesting past. Sean McFarland took a look at the story. This old boxcar titled The Forgotten Jade Green is going to be restored after being stranded once the PPR main was ripped up through town. Uh, where we're standing here, down the road a little ways, um, the Cumberland Valley Railroad continues into the Maryland border. Segregation was mainly practiced past the Maryland border. However, Pennsylvania cars were still segregated. They would 
recall all of the African Americans riding the train who paid the same amount for the fare, but for whatever reason were forced backwards to this like old car with wooden seats that was just ratty and probably falling apart. Um, so basically for decades the railroad was segregated. Along with this, not only on the train but even in the railroad or the rail yards, um, the there were African American workers who faced the, the same kind of struggles. Um, their work was very grueling. They replaced the uh, railroad ties. Um, one citizen of Shippensburg, John Rideout, uh, described in, a, in an interview his job uh, changing railroad ties and working on a, in a rail yard. It looks like there's a lot more to this project than anticipated. It sure does. I'll have to take a look at the rail trail myself. Oh, me too. That's it for this special look at the history of the Cumberland Valley Rail Trail and the impact of segregation on World War I. Stay tuned for SUTV for more videos about the Cumberland Valley Railroad and be sure to visit the new Shippensburg Station exhibit this spring. Thanks for tuning in.